What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's PT Stu and I want to thank you guys for all the nice comments in the last video that I just put out. Uh, some of you asked if I was on TRT which is a major compliment because a lot of you are saying I'm looking more cut and everything like that and I have been working hard. I'm not on TRT but uh, I really appreciate that. You know, um, today's video is about what lab tests I take when I'm checking my levels, when it comes to enclomiphene or genistein or fedosia, or even for some of you out there that are on TRT, um, you can do the same kind of lab tests. If it affects testosterone, these lab tests will apply for you, okay? So the first test that I use is obviously a total testosterone level test. This is gonna tell you your range, if you're in between the normal range, right? The test that I look at goes from, I believe, 300 nanograms, nanograms per deciliter up to 1,000, right? So that's the normal range. Right now, regularly, without any enclomiphene or anything, I usually sit about 600, okay? And I'm 37 next month. So 600 is a good level, you know, average, I would say. Um, it works well for me, right? Another test that you would want to take would be the free testosterone, okay? And this also cor uh, correlates with steroid hormone binding globulin test as well. So two tests right there, the free test and the steroid hormone binding globulin. Um, the reason that you want to do both of those is because it's going to tell you how much testosterone is available for you to use in your body, right? The free testosterone is the test that's unbound. It's not bound to any proteins like albumin or steroid hormone binding globulin. The other thing is with the steroid and with the free test, obviously free test is usable test, okay, essentially. When it comes to the steroid hormone binding globulin, well, that is a protein that floats around your bud and your blood, and it makes uh, hormones like testosterone and DHT uh, stick to it, right? And then it becomes essentially unusable for all intents and purposes, right? The other test that I do, obviously, you're going to want to do dihydrotestosterone, okay? Testosterone, when it goes up in your body, it's going to convert to either estrogen or dihydrotestosterone. Estrogen, obviously, you're going to get side effects from that. If you have high estrogen, uh, could be your mood, you could be a little whiny, moody kind of person. Uh, you could get the gynomastia going on. Um, and testosterone converting into DHT is something uh, similar. You know, you could lose hair, uh, have trouble peeing because your prostate is enlarged. So you definitely want to keep track of those as well. Again, you don't want it to be too high. You don't want it to be too low on either of those tests. You want to be balanced. The last one that I have um, that I do regularly is T4. T4 is a thyroid hormone. Years ago, I did a cycle of testosterone with, oh, I forget what the uh, trend, right? So I did test uh, sustenon and trend. And after that cycle, my metabolism went down, okay? I put on more body fat and everything like that. And I also got some lab tests done and my T4 was really low as well. So testosterone, like steroids and stuff like that, I'm not saying that enclomiphene necessarily will, but I tested myself to see that. All my levels, by the way, have been, if you look at all my uh, previous tests, whether it's with enclomiphene or not, they've all been good, right? But I still test for that. And just to make sure that my metabolism is in line and you, if you're using TRT, that's definitely one that you're going to want to use, right? So these five, let's say five, six, these six tests that I just named off, I have a comprehensive panel that covers all of these tests. I partner with a company um, that you can get your lab tests done by yourself. And so if you want to use that particular test that I use, it's called the enclomiphene panel. What you want to do is go to the link in the comments, follow it to my uh, personal page, okay, and then type in enclomiphene panel, 
and then that will come up and it has everything on it for you ready to go. The next part that I want to talk about is there are other tests that you can add to this. We have IGF-1, right? If you've been following my videos, you'll know that N-clomiphene can lower IGF-1. And IGF-1 is important for a host of reasons. Um, it's for growth, essentially. Growth of muscle, growth of hair cells. I mean, there's everything, right? IGF-1. So you don't want your IGF-1 to get low, which is a side effect of um, using N-clomiphene for so long. Um, the other thing that I would recommend would be a CMP, which is a comprehensive metabolic profile. In this, they're going to look at your kidneys, they're going to look at your liver values. You know, when you're taking supplements, you, you want to watch out for those kinds of things, no matter what it is. It could be creatine, um, it could be something like Tren or Deca, you know what I mean? It doesn't matter because your liver has to process all of those things, right? So the CMP is gonna cover those, it's gonna cover your electrolytes and everything like that as well. So definitely a cheaper test and one that is something that you can watch your body for. The last test that I recommend is a lipid profile. Anything that reduces, that increases your testosterone levels can also increase your lipid levels. And here's why. Cholesterol, essentially, cholesterol is like the root foundation of all the hormones, right? So cholesterol can turn into other hormones, DHEA, estrogen, testosterone, all down the line, right? Your body makes cholesterol naturally, right? And you get cholesterol from your diet. But when your testosterone levels go up, well, the body says, oh, I don't need to use this cholesterol for making hormones so much anymore. So then the levels just kind of accumulate. Obviously, you know, lipids can get lodged into your arteries. You don't want that. So these are three other tests, IGF, CMP, and lipid profile that I will recommend adding on so that you can watch out for your health. Because obviously guys, you know, we're doing stuff that has side effects uh, from time to time and you're gonna have to be safe with what you're doing, right? And it's even better if you're under a doctor's supervision. Um, a doctor can, you know, provide you with these tests if you wanna go and tell your doctor, hey, listen, you know, I wanna get these tests. The only issue is for, for guys like me, right? We're under 40 years old. Um, the insurance doesn't cover that kind of stuff, right? Guys, if you're not checking your labs, get started checking your labs. Uh, you can always, like I said, follow my link, type in the Enclomophene panel, um, add those extra tests as you need it. It was great having you guys here, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.